Hi everyone, it's Andrea here. It's gone a bit cold outside, it's about one and a half degrees. Okay, that's not really cold compared to some places in the world, I know, but for the UK and for where I live, that's pretty cold. I've got the heating on, I've got my fleece on, and I've got a nice hot and large cup of tea. And well, we're near the end of the year and it's time for the second booktubeathon, which is the holiday booktubeathon. So this as the previous Booktubeathon is being curated by the lovely Ariel Pazette. I will leave a link to Booktubeathon uh, channel down below and also to Ariel's channel down below so you can go check it out. Um, unlike the main Booktubeathon that we had early in the year, this is a nice relaxed one with only three challenges over three days. There will be some reading sprints on Twitter. I won't be taking part of those being in the UK. Um, I still have to go to work on one of the days, uh, which is the Friday. So Booktubeathon runs on the 29th, 30th and 31st, so I'll be working on the 30th, but I still got plenty of time to read. Yay. So, the, th the three challenges, and there's only three, because three days, three challenges, the three challenges are as follows. One, read a book with your favourite colour on the cover. Pretty sure we had one similar to that, I think it was read a book with yellow on the cover last night, which is great, that can be done. The next one was read a book from a genre that you've only discovered this year or rediscovered this year, fair enough, and also read a book that was a gift. Well, it's Christmas, so I'm sure we've all got plenty of gifts, uh, book gifts that we had. I certainly had a few, but I'm not actually going to read any in this book, Tubathon. Mm. So let's get to the first book so for read a book with your favorite color on the cover i uh, my favorite color is actually red it always has been um and i am going to be reading was by jeff ryman which is a wizard of oz retelling um three interwoven stories dorothy as a real kansas girl in the 1870s and in the 80s the making of the movie the wizard of oz and then also um the Childhood of Judy Garland, sorry, the, the making of the movie The Wizard of Oz and The Childhood of Judy Garland, and then a fictional character named Jonathan who is obsessed with Oz and history and who's dying of AIDS. So there's three interwoven stories uh, based around The Wizard of Oz. So a real girl named Dorothy, Judy Garland and the making of Oz, and then a, a young man dying of AIDS who's obsessed with the, the, the stories. Oh, so I'm going to read that one. Now I've heard mid... I've heard mixed reactions on this book, but I want to do it for myself. Now this book I picked up very cheap on the charity stall in the supermarket. So if I really like it, I'll replace it with a decent copy because it's a bit battered. So that's my first one. Uh, secondly, the book you discovered a new genre of, for me it is a new genre. I mean, I didn't even know it was a genre until I, I started watching this because I just pick up books that I'm interested in and they could well have been from this genre and that is uh, YA or Young Adult. Um, and I'm going to be reading Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco. Now, as you know, I am very interested in Jack the Ripper. I collect books on Jack the Ripper. I have quite a lot of books on Jack the Ripper and I, have, I intend to be buying more this year. So this is a fictional story. Um, woven around the Jack the Ripper, Ripper tale which I'm really looking forward to getting into. I've heard people have loved this book so that is my book Tubathon, um, a genre you've discovered this year although I'm pretty sure I've probably read lots of YA before without even realising that it was YA. And the third challenge is to read a book that was a gift. So I'm going to be reading the final one that I have, or well, the final one that's out at the moment, of The Chronicles of St Mary by Jodie Taylor, which is Lies, A Damned Lies in History. And this was given to me with five of the other books from this series by my mum for my birthday back in June. I'd already bought book one and read it, and she bought me books two to six. Uh, so that's seven. Book eight comes out next year. I really can't wait. And there are some short stories that are on Audible, Audible and Kindle. Um, but apparently they will be putting them in a bind up at some point. So I'll be purchasing that as well. So I've loved every single one of these. And I'm looking forward to reading this one as well. So that is my third book tubeathon challenge book. And believe me, it's been very hard not picking up this one and this one to read. Because I really want to read them. So I've just got to get through tomorrow. Because it's... Um, Today is it today? It's Tuesday, Tuesday the 27th. So just go through tomorrow and then I can start reading them. And they, I know this one won't take long. And I don't think Jack the Ripper will, Stalking Will, uh, was, I don't know because I've never read it before and I'm really excited. So 
those are my books for the holiday booktubeathon. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you're all going to be reading. I have been watching some of the TBRs as they've been coming up. I'm looking forward to it. So don't forget to check out Ariel's uh, channel, the booktubeathon channel, um, and other people's TBRs. Leave a comment if you've read any of these three books, and if you have, let me know what you thought of them. And don't forget to give me the big thumbs up, share, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you soon with a new update. Bye!